Hi. It is a kestrel, it's a baby. It looks like it's got an injured eye is the problem. So it's gonna be a tiggy winkles job I think. Yeah, it's got a poorly eye. Hey! You're doing very well, aren't you? You're not overly keen on walking no. on a lead. We've got you on a harness. We'll see if we can find a harness that fits you better at the pet shop. How about that? Yeah. Come on, you can do it. I'll just pick him up. Are you coming down? Show him the treat again. Do. You might have to go and get him. Yeah, you yeah. might have to go and get him. You stuck? I don't know how to do it. We are heading off out to get a harness that fits him. Um, and Kenzie wants a non squeaky toy for him because he wakes him up in the night squeaking his. We could give him. Uh, it should be fine. We could give him the. Um, the other one. The. the the monkey thing. Yeah, it squeaks, but it's quite hard to get it to squeak. And we're taking this bird to Tiggy Winkles. It would have been better if we can, but now Yeah. Oh, actually, I got it wrong. It's a peregrine falcon. It's really not looking particularly well at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I'm not sure it's going to survive, to be honest. And we've broken down again. The same problem, isn't it, that we had before, except we've broken down at screw fix and um, WD-40 has not done the job. I forgot to put the other lube in, but I'm not sure it's going to make any difference. And my dad's now on his way to come and get us. <laughs> any pressure there, Mum? No, none at all. <laughs> so we've broken down in Spog again. The same problem as before. We are awaiting the tow truck. Link and I are just going for a little walk though. Come on, Link. So today has been totally derailed. It was not the day I had planned at all. Um, it's been lovely seeing my parents. And hanging out with them but there's a lot i could have been doing that i haven't been doing all the bedding is in the tumb uh, is in the washing machine waiting to be tumble dried because i thought i'll get home and tumble that dry that in an hour after dropping the peregrine falcon off which wasn't looking great by the time we got there um and uh popping in to say hi to my parents um i've been bad daughter and i realized after about two hours of being here my dad running me around all over the place that today is his actual birthday and we weren't actually meant to be seeing him till sunday so i kind of had it in my head all this time that his birthday is on sunday but it's not it's actually today and it's his 70th so i was being bad daughter and it took me about two hours to wish him a happy birthday and i suddenly realized what the day was anyway um i've taken link for a walk um the reason <laughs> I don't know if I've, I don't even know what, where I've got to on this vlog because it's now nearly four o'clock and um, I've barely spoken to the camera. Uh, we've broke down. The same issue with Spog's gear that we had last couple of weeks ago has happened again, but this time WD-40 hasn't done it and I couldn't get it to work. I stopped at Screwfix to buy some WD-40 to spray it with and then I got stuck in the parking space because I couldn't reverse. And so I rang AutoAid or organised the the recovery with auto aid um who have been highly recommended to me by a couple of van lifers and yeah it's now nearly four o'clock it's been four hours and still haven't been recovered they are just going to send a recovery vehicle and take us straight to a garage because there's clearly more going on if it's happened again so it's you know they're not going to try and fix it they're just gonna yeah do that 
but the last guy I spoke to who fixed us last time, he took three hours to get to us. And AA never takes more than an hour when I've used them. They are more expensive, but I haven't wasted a whole day with AA, whereas I am here, you know, with with auto aid. Um, they, the recovery, they use local recovery people rather than their own people. And the local recovery person last time, he actually came out from Hemel Hempstead, which isn't local at all. This guy's coming from Hemel Hempstead. It's not local at all. It's a good hour away. And uh, he has said that they actually prioritise other jobs that pay more over auto aid. So what happened this time is the guy said he was on his way. It'd be an hour. And then he rang me half an hour later and said he'd been sent to another job. So, yeah, not really impressed with it at all. Um, if there is feedback, that will be the feedback. Um, so, yes, we've, we've basically spent the day here. I did pop into town. And I did manage to get my dad some chocolates and a birthday card. So I managed to do that at least. I took Link with me, but actually I probably should have left him here because it was just a bit overwhelming sort of walking around. So I ended up carrying him pretty much the whole way. Um, and it's not a busy town where we are, but it was, I think it was just a little bit too overwhelming. And like I said, we weren't meant to be doing any of this with him on day one of having him. Um, we were meant to be giving him a quiet settling in session, but of course... All we were planning on doing was popping to the rescue centre and then, um, yeah, just popping in here for 10 minutes and then, well, you know, maybe a cup of tea and then heading home and giving him a chilled day. And of course, he's got stuck in a broken down van with us. Um, I'm just very grateful that it's happened sort of close to my parents' house and we weren't, you know, somewhere else. But that's where we're at. And I'm meant to be going out for dinner tonight and I haven't done anything. I'm not going to wash my hair. It will be fine. I'll just re-straighten it. I'll have a shower. Going out with um, Ginger and Jackie. It's our belated Christmas do. We're going to TGI Fridays. Jackie's meant to be coming past at six o'clock and then picking me up. But it's by the time I get back from the garage, it's going to be pushing a little bit. I don't think we're actually booked until nearer seven. So it's not like we've got to rush straight out. She's coming straight from work. But even so... It's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of hours sitting in a day and I don't do well sitting, as you know. It has been lovely though, seeing my parents. I'm very, very grateful for them giving up their afternoon to spend with me and Kenzie and the dog. Um, and the dog's getting on very well with Molly, their dog. So um, I suppose there's benefits to it. I did get to hang out with my parents, but you know what I'm like. I'm just not very good at just sitting and doing nothing. Anyway, we're going to go now back to the van and wait for this guy to recover us. The guy who's picked us up is Romanian and he was just talking to the dog in Romanian. <laughs> so the van is start. It starts? It starts, but no... Uh, but here's uh, yeah. the guy. Yeah, I need it. WD-40 in it and it didn't do it this time. This one? The COVID is gone. Why you use this one? Because <laughs> some places like doctors don't let you in. Tell them, fuck off. <laughs> I always have because otherwise they forget. <laughs> Are you going to stay in? Okay. Well, this guy is uh, interesting. <laughs> I may have been shouted at a bit. Yeah. Yeah. We're out eating with friends. 
and family. Was that Happy Christmas? Yeah, this is our, this is our Christmas. Happy Christmas. I have to say, I haven't been to TGI Fridays in a very long time and the service is excellent and Colin, I would highly recommend, seems like a very nice man. And I'll talk to you in another video. Very nice man. Colin, say hello to my vlog. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? Just saying, the service here is amazing and Colin seems like a very nice man. Well, one time. Have a great time. I'll come back to you later. Good evening, good evening, you lovely lot. Um, we are now back from the lovely TGI's with the lovely Colin. He was very, very sweet and he gave him a very nice tip. Brilliant service. Um, so yeah, if you're in the Wickham area, go to the TGI Fridays. There haven't been for years and the food was wonderful and the service was wonderful. And yeah, cannot fault the place. Had a great evening. Uh, I am going to do a video tomorrow about my very interesting situation with the recovery service um that will be a video of its own entity because it's going to take too long anyone who follows me on facebook so my friends and family who know me personally will have seen my comment on facebook earlier on and will know what i'm getting at but i'm going to do a separate video just on my experience today with the with the rescue center um uh, rescue recovery center um, as you can see, uh, the puppy has settled really well already and he's had to go through quite a bit today because we were only meant to be going for a little run ride and we ended up being stuck out all day. But my parents have been amazing and let us stay there and I'm very, very grateful to them. We've had a really nice hang out with them and drinking tea and chatting. And it has meant that um, Link and Molly Dog have got to meet each other and um, yeah, it went very well. I'm very pleased but I'm tired now I am drained and I need a good night's sleep so I am going to say my goodbyes thank you very much for watching you lovely lot and come back tomorrow to find out more about my very interesting situation with the recovery driver